My name is Taylor Odom. I'm 13 years old. Some of the sports that I play are basketball, track and field, um, rugby, swimming, and sometimes lacrosse, and in the summer, tennis. What do you like about sports so much? I can escape from like the world that we live in because it's kind of crazy nowadays. <laughs> I'm going to the march because like I want to see things change in our world today because it seems like for a young child to say something nowadays, people won't listen to you. You're an athlete. Do you feel like you should just shut up and take part in athletics? People think all we think about is sports. And not, we don't because we have emotions too, like other people. And we have a voice. I've actually lost someone due to a gun incident. Um, her name is Jabari. She was driving home and she got shot in the head. The issue of gun control is very personal to you because yes. of your friend. Mm -hmm. Is that one of the reasons that you'll be marching? That is one of the reasons I will be marching on Saturday. My name is Sandy Williams Odom and I'm Taylor's mom. And I'm so amazed by the work that her and her friends are doing. And just to be a part of it, just to see her and her friends take action is simply amazing to me. Well, ever since um, Jamari died, Taylor and her sister just, just got so involved with the movement and just spearheading with their friends and just really wanted to give back just for Jamari. What do you think she would say to you about marching? I think something she would say to me is that she would be proud of me because I'm standing up for what I believe in and not just someone else's dream. Good stuff there. Now Taylor isn't just interested in current events now because of March for Our Lives. She and her younger sister Christian try to get the word out about local events through their YouTube news channel. That's TK2LDC News. This means teaching kids to love DC News. That's